All right, so now let's draw the phase plot of this body plot of this transfer function. So we will start from each term. First, we will draw the phase plot of that term, and then we're going to uh, add them graphically. So we'll start with the term k equal to 0 0.01. If I see, if I look at the table over here, I'm going to have a slope, uh, a um, phase plot of 0 degrees for all omegas. So if I go down to my phase plot, I'm going to have a zero degree line on this plot. So you see that the y axis is the phase in degrees and the uh, x is still frequency in radian, radians per second. So I'll go back up for the second term. So the second term was one plus j omega plus uh, one plus j omega to the power of one. And when I look at this row of the table, I see that the phase plot for these kind of um, uh, zeros, it will stay at zero until z equal to 10, that is over here, and it will go up to the 90n degrees at 10z, okay? So first I know that my z is equal to one. So what would be z over 10? z over 10 is 1 over 10, so it is 0 0.1. So it has to stay at 0 degrees until 0 0.1, omega equal to 0 0.1. Then it should go up and it should reach 90n, so my n is equal to 1. So it should reach 90 degrees at 10z, which is 10. Okay, so I'll go down and I will just draw what I said. So it should stay at 0 degrees until 0 0.1 and we see that our phase plot it starts from 0 0.1 so we don't have anything on the left anymore so we will assume that we were at 0 so here is my z over 10 then it says that from there it should go up to 90 n when it reaches 10 z and we saw that 10 z is equal to 10 and here is 90 n why? Because my n was equal to 5. So why am I going up? Because that was a 0. That was in the numerator. So it wasn't in the denominator. Okay, so we'll go here and then we will stay at 90 degrees from there. So in the phase plot, it is also very helpful to write the slope of the line in degrees per decade. In my opinion, it will help a lot for you not to get confused. So I'm going to just go ahead and write the slope over here. But please note that here our slope is 45 degrees per decade. Why? Because look at the phase of this uh, purple plot when we are at 10 to the negative 1. So you see that the phase is 0. Then at omega equal to 10 to the 0, which is omega equal to 1, which is one decade after that, we reach 45 degrees. So the slope is 45 degrees per decade. Okay? So for this part of the graph, I have 45 degrees per decade. And obviously this part, it has a 0 degrees per decade. So I'm going to just write this on the red line as well. So we have zero degrees per decade. Okay, so we'll go back and we still have two more terms. Next one is one over S squared, the green line, which is the third row of my table. Okay, so it says that for these kind of poles, that is a pole at the origin, we have a, um, a line with a zero degree per decade slope at minus n, um, minus 90 n degrees. What does that mean? So if I go, my n is equal to two, okay? So I'll go down to my plot. It says that we should have an horizon, a horizontal line at minus n degrees. So minus 90 n degrees. So it is minus 90 multiplied by two. It is minus 180 degrees, okay? So I should have a horizontal line at minus 180 degrees. And obviously the slope of this line is zero 
degrees per decade. It means that the slope is not changing. It is a horizontal line, okay? So I'll go back up for the last term. That was 1 over 1 plus s over 10 to the power of 1. That was this row. Oops, it should be with a blue. This row of the table. So if I look at its phase plot, it will stay at 0 until p uh, omega equal to p over 10. What is p over 10? Is 10 over 10. So until omega equal to 1, we have to stay at 0 degrees. Then we have to go down to minus 90 n degrees at 10 p. So what is 10 p? 10 p is equal to 100. Okay, so I'll go back to my face plot. So we said that we should stay at 0 until p over 10. So what was p over 10? It was um, 1, omega equal to 1. So we'll stay until omega equal to 1. Maybe it's better to redo that. Okay. Now we have to go to minus 90n. Our n was 1, so we should go to minus 90 degrees. When we reach 10p, 10p is 100. Okay, so at 100, I should have reached minus 90 degrees. So I will draw this line. And for the rest of the plot, it should stay at minus 90 degrees. All right, so now I do have all my, let me, oh, the slope is actually zero degrees per decade for this part of the plot, but for this part, obviously, the slope uh, is negative 45 degrees per decade. All right, so now what I have to do is I have to add these plots graphically in order to have my phase body plot. So again, as I said for the magnitude plot, I'm going to um, specify my critical omegas, the omegas in which one or uh, some of the plots are changing slopes. And at omega equal to 100. So you see that after omega equal to 100, all, all four plots are having um, a slope of zero degrees per decade. Okay, so let's add up this graph. From omega equal to 10 to the negative 1 until omega equal to 10 to the 0, we have the blue, green, and red plot with a slope of zero degrees per decade. But the purple plot, it has a slope of 45 degrees per decade. So my total phase body plot, it has a slope of 45 degrees per decade. And the body plot should start from minus 180. Why is that? Because at, 10, uh, at omega equal to 10 to the negative 1, the purple, blue, and the red plot, they are all at 0 but the green plot is at minus 180. So this green plot will shift everything down by minus 180, okay? So we will start at minus 180. And we should go up by a slope of 45 degrees per decade. That will give us over here. All right, now, from omega equal to 10 to the 0 until um, omega equal to 10 to the 1, the slope is going back to 0. Why? Because I have a purple plot with a 45 degrees per decade, and I have the blue plot with negative 45 de uh, degrees per decade, so they will cancel each other out, right? because the red and green plot, they don't have any contribution in the slope of this plot. So they'll be 
a zero degrees per decade over here. Then from 10 to the negative one until uh, 10 to the one until 10 to the two, all the plots except the blue plot, they have a zero degrees per decade. So the um, slope of the total phase body plot will be minus 45 degrees per decade. So I have to go back to minus 180 when I reach 10 to the 2, this line. And after that, you see that all the plots, they have a slope of 0 degrees per decade. So we're going to stay at 0 from 10 to the 2 and so on. Okay, so this is the black plot is my phase body plot. So let me just write the slopes on each side of each uh, portion of that. So this is 45 degrees per decade. This is 0 degrees per decade. And here we have negative 45 degrees per decade. And at last we have 0 degrees per decade. Okay, so this was, uh, I hope this video helped you um, to see how we can draw the body plot and how you can um, use the table of the body plot in order to draw uh, this magnitude and phase plots. Uh, we are, I also have another example on body plot that I will link it down below uh, in the description box. And if you have any questions, uh, you can write them in the comments down below. And thanks for watching.